You keep going the way you're going, you end up on the street. You train. You fight harder than those other guys, and you win. This might be the fastest final lap in Olympic history. Yeah! If you can take it, you can make it. was a very uh, troubled kid who, uh, with the support of his brother, uh, became an Olympic athlete. And then when he was in World War II, his airplane crashed uh, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And he and two other men survived for 47 days in a lifeboat where they drifted so far that they ended up in the Marshall Islands controlled by the Japanese. Laura's book was so extraordinary and it helped us to, to really see how it could be a film and that it wasn't just about events in his life, it was about what it all added up to and, and she was uh, so, so supportive. And he was my neighbor, turns out, and he was such a great man, a really, truly great person. There was a real responsibility to, um, to honor Louis' story and to honor the other guys that, that fought in the war. It's so meaningful and responsible to put humanity and respect into the character. I really hope you know, people receive the message of Louis Zamperini in this film. This is straight from Louis, right? He, he said the, the point of this movie is for us all to feel a little sense of empowerment and, and from his spirit. We see what he endured, what he conquered. So hopefully that instills a little bit of his strength in us all. It seems to be a perpetual journey to nowhere, really. And I think this this film shows that war doesn't, no, there's no winners ever. It's nice to be reminded that every individual can make a difference and that there is something in us and that the strength of the human spirit is really something that's really powerful. And uh, and we need, to, we need to rise up. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.